This video, I'm going to be breaking down tight open. Uh, this is a new form, not really a new formation, but it's kind of a formation that's being ran a lot more. This was, I think, put into the game last year. And I'm in the Detroit Lions playbook. Broke down this uh, bunch X nasty on our school community. If you guys want to check out my full uh, offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden or college football, make sure that you join up in the school community. I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys want to go check that out. A couple audibles that we're going to set. And really the biggest reason why you would want to get in this. This is a mini scheme. It's not really a standalone offense, I don't think, this year. Uh, but I think it's something like to audible two. It's, it's pretty decent. You have this mesh spot wheel, which is really good. Uh, most of the bunch nasty or uh, most of the tight opens have this Digsy spot. These are like the, the big four plays that you want to have. And then after that, you can kind of, you know, pick whatever, whatever play you want um bench dig pivot any of these plays is fine um they have some short a lot of them have some a lot of tight opens have a short corner uh, the reason these short corners are really effective this year is you know let's just say they're playing hard flat coverage i feel like the short corners are hard to switch stick right because they cut so sharply so that's another thing that makes this makes this offense really good so i'm gonna go over just a couple plays that i like out of this the first one is, why would you go to tight open? One of the best things that you can do in tight open is beat man-to-man. -man. It's pretty decent against man coverage so it, because it has a lot of these return return routes. So the first setup is going to be just this bench return. And the way that I like to run this play is we're just going to post the tight end, table route the running back, and then on this left-hand side here, couple different ways you could run it i really like to do a stemmed corner and a streak so something like this so i have that corner route off rip that i can look at but really the main route that's really nice against man is going to be this little return route over the middle of the field another play that's really really good against man that is going to be pretty a little bit more consistent for you is mesh spot so we're just going to flat the slot and flat the outside so it looks like this and you're going to see that this running back wheel is oftentimes going to get bumped, and you can just throw this to the outside, especially against like a basic nickel type of man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Another thing that you have in this play is you can throw your tight end drag coming across the middle of the field. That's normally a pretty good read against man. And then if you have time in the pocket, the three rec will kind of mess things up. I'll, I'll uh, actually cover something that you can also do real quick in case they're doing a lot of three wrecking and stuff is you could do something like this and you'll see here that this slot streak a lot of times will just dumb out the man coverage I actually put him on a curl stone him all the way up that's been kind of a known thing for a long time if you're playing press man you know that's something that you want to have uh, in your arsenal so then what they're going to have to do is if they're going to play press man they're going to have to have two safeties in in halves otherwise obviously you'll just be able to throw you know easy reads over the with the with the curl routes so now they're impressed man, and they shade underneath and, and all that. And that's where this in route really becomes, I think, special. It's, it's a, it gets into just a real nice spot on the field. Another thing with mesh spot is if you want to, you can literally just flat this guy and snap the ball and have double drags. Uh, I think that's certainly pretty decent this year as well. The more crossing routes you have, the better chance you have at beating man to man. The short corner here on the left side, I'll show it to you. We'll see if the short corner. Normally, the short corner does a really good job of beating man. Rogers just butchered that throw. Let me uh, we try that again. All right, so we'll just look at this. And you'll see here. There you go. So that kind of beats man coverage. Not Don't have to bend it too much like that. I did there, but... Kind of a nice maybe you can play. Um, another thing you could do is something kind of simple, but I think this is pretty decent, a combo like this. And this is pretty much pop, pu purely building around this, this short corner, but if they back up, then you can just throw your drag underneath. Another combo that I really like out of this playbook is, or out of this formation, digsy spot. So you have this zig, you have that nice dig, um, and then you have this corner. So this corner, we're going to stem it down at least one. We're going to streak this outside guy. And then on this left-hand side, you could either leave it like it is or you could flat this guy and have a little almost kind of like a dig return type thing going over, over there, a little flat zig. 
Flat Zig is a nice little combo in this game. It's really hard to switch stick Flat Zig. And if they do switch stick over here to the left side, then this street corner flat combination is going to do a really good job of just kind of attacking the coverage, as you can see. I really believe – I'm a big believer this year in having like a three – a three-man concept and a two-man concept. So you'll see here with like Diggsy Spot, for example, the right side we have a three-man and the left side we have a two-man. So if they switch stick to the right, then we can just work this left-hand side, right? Another combo, uh, that, or another reason why you would call this play is because Zig routes are really good against man coverage this year. So you'll see here that this little pivot route normally will actually normally beats man a lot better than that, but it'll beat main coverage for you. So you have that. The play verticals burst. Uh, you can actually stem. Pretty sure you can. Can I not stem these? Huh? Used to be able to. Okay. I guess you can't. Maybe you can stem the one on the left. But anyway, this is a pretty decent uh, decent play. So what I the way I would run this play is I'd probably do something like this. Okay, And the reason I would do something like this is because I can attack the seams on both sides. A lot of times you're going to just hit your running back to that, to that left-hand sideline. Another thing that will happen, though, is that you will get some cover three, and normally it's going to look like this, right? So if you get a cover three, you always want to be able to attack it. And normally this tight end streak, right, you can just highball this in the seam, and we know how effective that is. So let's say... You know, let's say that they're running cover four and they run it like this. All right. So now you need to attack kind of that left side seam within this play. Well, that's why I like to have the corner route. You don't have to stem it all the way down, but have the corner route. And then you can just kind of see how we can really attack the seams in this formation and force them to have to either play man or play cover four. Because if they play cover two, the uh, if they play uh, if they play cover two here, you'll see that these wheels and corners are really helpful for kind of getting on top of a cover two. Now, one of the most meta ways to play cover two in this game is to use a soft squat, which is also why, if we go back to Diggsy spot, I really like having this running back route because this running back route pulls the soft squat to him. And I guess I didn't have a soft squat there. Let me actually fix that. I thought that was a soft squat. I guess that's a cloud. Sorry about that. Um, but anyways, if we go back to Diggsy spot, now you'll see if they're soft squatting out there on the right side, that soft squat will bite down to the running back. Need a little better of a throw there, but we should be able to hit that against cover two soft squat. Cover two soft squad is, is really good. <laughs> um, you can also do some things in this formation, such as motioning your running back outside. This is another, I think, really, really good combination. So we're going to use a sh something like this. And then on the back side, you can really do whatever you want and really do it out of whatever play you want, right? But watch how this really just does a good job. If they're running a lot of cover two, this corner is going to really cook it to the sideline. So those are kind of the main things uh, that I like to do. One underrated thing you can do is this like kind of bench return. You can kind of aggressive catch these like you used to be able to off cut. I'm going to try to show that a little better this time. So if if they are um, – so you see here like I can high point and then just catch it. And I'm not getting the animation I want. You don't even necessarily have to high point it, but this is a throw that you could make this year that a lot of people don't really make um, like this. Stem the corner down one, and then you just you just aggressive catch it. And I guess the reason a lot of people don't make it is because we've almost thrown three picks three consecutive times, but I'm trying to show you like a specific thing here. And Rodgers is just butchering the throw, which is which is which is awesome. <laughs> Let's just see if we can get it one more time for you. You should be able to high point it which is what I want to do, but it's not giving me the animation I want. All right, well, we'll just leave that there. I have to throw it one more time. So you see what we're doing? We're just stemming down the corner. Yeah, if I can just catch the ball. He's right He's right there. It's, it's clearly 
a read you can make. And then the other thing I want to show you about this is with cover force. Now let's say, okay, they drop back, right? See that forces them to drop back. We could just throw the flat. So those are some little things here that I think you have in tight that not a lot of formations really have this year. And that's maybe it's better wide side than it is short side. Let's uh, let's run this wide side and see if we can get it. Put the running back on whatever. Okay. Yeah. See, that's that's what I was trying to show you. Yeah, all you gotta do is run wide side, I guess. But but anyways. But I really like mesh spot a lot. I think mesh spot's really good. Um, just a simple. It's very simple. But that in route is a little deeper than a normal in route, and you can quick hike this play. And so you can you can actually. This is one of those few routes in the game. Look at these three man sheds. I'm always just amazed at the sheds in practice mode. But you can throw this right in here. See, I just kind of gets into a really soft spot of the defense. So tight open, I think, does have some value. Uh, you could even run a setup like this. I mean, this is perfectly fine. Have a little bit more horizontal strain on the defense. But this is how I like to run it. Another thing you could do is you could just run this like this. This is perfectly fine setup uh, in this year's game just because of the way zones work. It's hard for them to guard that. It's crazy that that outside quarter played that post when it has a corner route on the left side to pull it. Kind of shows how great zones are in this game. Because you see here, I can kind of throw this. I can still kind of throw it right out the quarter, and, and he'll, he'll almost never pick the ball, which is just kind of interesting. Another thing you can do out of this verticals play is you could do like a like a combo like this. The reason this would be good is it just gives you kind of that, that check down read in case you guess wrong. But in general, tight open is a great little supplemental formation. I don't think it's like a number one formation this year, um, but I do think it is a good formation, and it just does a lot of little things really well, and it's going to allow you to attack both sides of the field. It's going to allow you to have – um, a nice zig route here on the left hand side and then you could do stuff like if you want to do like this you could run the same combo like this right um, but then just taking kind of these little check downs I think Madden 25 is ultimately going to be a horizontal passing style of game and this kind of a formation just allows you to attack kind of that area of the field a lot with the different types of plays that it has in it so I want to thank you for watching the video if you want to get any of my full Madden offensive or defensive ebooks. All of those are going to be linked down in the description below by becoming a member of our school community.